Good day everyone, welcome to video tutorials. Today I'll show you how to set up and use a hierarchy in 3ds Max. Okay, first let's click on the create tab here, then click on the box button, let's go to the top viewport and click and drag out a box here to select set the length and width, then move it up to select the height, then click again to finalize the height. Let's click on the modify tab so that we can now enter values directly. Let's set the length to 100, width to 100, height to 100. Let's okay, make sure the move tool is selected. Let's change the x value to x coordinate to minus 200, y to 0, z to 0. Okay, make sure the top viewport is selected. Then press alternate W to maximize the viewport or you can click on this button here to maximize the viewport then press shift make sure you're using the move tool press shift and click and drag to the middle here make sure you select copy change the number of copies to 2 then click OK to create 2 more copies right click on the viewport menu select smooth and highlights to show the color ok let's select the left the box on the left, click on the color here, the box here, let's change the color to red, click OK, select the middle one, change the color, click on the color box there, then we select color green, click OK, select the box on the right, click on its color box here, and let's change it to blue, then click OK. Okay, now we have three boxes, red, green, blue. Let's make this the this let's make it the child of this box and let's make this the green box the child of the red box. Okay, so click on the select and link button. Then click and drag from the child to the parent here. Then use the select and link uh, select and link again to select and link to again. Then click and drag from this child to this parent. Okay. What happens now is that let's click on the move button. Okay. This okay what happens is when I move the parent, the child must move. If I move the child, the parent won't have to move. Okay? So if I move the parent here, this green box which is the child of this red box will move also. If I move the child here, this parent will move. Okay, so if I move this, you see the parent will move. Okay? But this is the child of this. Okay, so because this is the child of this, so if I move the parent, the child will follow. If I move this, you see it will affect the parent. Okay, so remember, moving the parent will control the child, will also affect the child. So if I move the parent, the child will be affected. If I move the child, the parent, the parent will be affected. Okay. But because this is itself a parent of this child, so if I move this one, this which is the child of this one will move also. Okay? So this is how you create and create and use hierarchy. Okay, thank you for listening.